Hey, so I've been wanting to make this video for a little bit, and uh, uh, a while back, about close to a month ago, I got a, um, a message on uh, my Instagram from an author named Jack Morris, and he sent me uh, a couple books to kind of go through, and that is uh, the Citizen Manual 1, Individual Tactics of the Professional Citizen Project. And uh, it's Manual 2 Reconnaissance. Now, there's already uh, several videos of these on YouTube that are done by people that have um, better camera skills and better narration and everything. Um, the Modern Minuteman, Minuteman uh, is one, J. And then um, um, some other people. Uh, this guy's name is Escape Me. I, I follow him like every Monday. And. Um, Oh, the Magic Prepper. Yeah, he does a really good um, version of that. So I kind of want to go through this idea real quick, and also mention uh, Mr. Morris's books. But um, I've had, I have some other stuff like up before that, right? So I start off with, I've always been um, amateur student of uh, history, strategy, uh, tactics, a little bit of logistics recently. So I start off with the uh, the Art of War by Sun Tzu, and uh, really good stuff, classic stuff. It's uh, taught at military academies and schools, and businesses, and uh, you can actually learn a lot from this, especially in everyday life. Then I think the next one people kind of gravitate towards, especially they're in a shooting and then tactical shooting, and then they want to take it a step further uh, with only how the world's political decisions are made and uh, we seem to be in unsafe times right so people want to prepare themselves with knowledge um, for a worst case scenario now this doesn't mean they're going to do anything or anything like that but it's nice to have the knowledge so in the future if you could refrain to this or pass it on to someone that has experience in this subject then it's a good idea to read about tactics and strategy. Uh, the next one I have is the uh, U.S. Army Ranger Handbook Revised and Updated. A uh, lot of detail, uh, very interesting, all kinds of really good information, such a medical and uh, everything else. My critique of that would be, in most of these manuals, is they're designed for a military mindset. If you have, or if you're currently in or previous experience. In particularly, um, maybe like Rangers or uh, infantry, something like that. You, you'll be familiar with this. And um, an another one I have. This is actually um, the U.S. Army, not literally uh, zombie combat skills. If you're like, what? No, that's stupid. Actually, there is a lot of really interesting stuff in here. And uh, I actually would recommend this as a pickup. It's just kind of cool. And it, uh, there's actually real-world knowledge in this. I think it just uses the guise of zombie to uh, kind of uh, bypass maybe some filters. And so people won't take it too seriously. They might be on the lookout for that or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm a big fan of this guy, um, Max Alexander. He's got a couple of books, Patriot Dawn, which I've mentioned before. Um, he also goes by the uh, pen name Max Velocity. So I have... This one, contact tactical manual. Really recommend this. This is this is freaking huge. This is a uh, 500 pages plus of information, and it just covers so much different stuff. Again, um, this one's a little bit better. I, I put this one and the the uh, professional citizen projects is a little bit different. Um, Max Alexander is a former uh, CIA contractor and uh, I think a uh, uh, commando. Um, uh, it's equivalent to paratroopers in, in the UK. Uh, I think it's just para. Anyways, um, really, really interesting stuff to read about. And then he's got another one of uh, small unit tactics, which is this one. And also really good information. This is definitely much more uh, military based. So, uh, Pythus and the Ranger Handbook are um, really, really good for that military background kind of guy. This one, before uh, these books I recently picked up, was actually, I really like this one, uh, Small Unit Tactics. 
Um, really recommend this one. Um, especially has color pictures and everything. And it's just really interesting. And I can I get here. And so the the visualization of the color helps a lot to me. Um, I'm a lucky on I'm a a direct response learner. I have to have like hands on, a hands on response learner. And uh, the fact that it has the colors is broken up in a really um, um, format. It's broken really good format. Helps me a lot, especially with my ADD. Um, so all those books inside, and then this is uh, Mr. Jack Morris's books, are these two. Um, it took me about a month to get through these just because I had some other stuff going on. I went to Metallica concert in Chicago. That was awesome. Um, and so I kind of put these on the back burner for a bit, but I've been reading little bits and pieces of it, and I finally got it done uh, this week. And these are really cool. So how how this is different, and I mean, it, it kind of reminds me of the Ranger Handbook a little bit. Um, but it, it's got a different take on things because it's meant for the common person to get into. The, you know, your regular gun guy or or prepper or just concerned citizen to have a good um, foothold into the door. I'd actually recommend these two and the zombie one and, and the other one um, if you're just getting into the idea of strategy and tactics. And um, it, it just breaks it down a lot better for the regular person to understand Well, I happen to be like a military genius or you know, go to ranger school or Annapolis or what, whatever. So I really recommend these books and they're pretty easy to understand for the most part. Now some of it wasn't because I again I learned best by doing versus reading. Reading can help. It can give you the general idea of what you're about to get into but as far as like for instance uh, compasses and land nav um, if you don't have the land the ability to practice this physically it's hard to understand um, actually I'll be moving here very soon to um, a rural area here in Indiana and I'm gonna have about 10 acres and some woods so that's gonna be awesome I actually will be able to put this into practice and work on my land nav skills and basic bushcraft there's some books I think I uh, would highly recommend too is a uh, knowing uh, flora and fauna and uh, bushcraft uh, manual stia as well uh, the reconnaissance one I, I really thought it was super cool um, I just have that mentality I think more for just kind of like you know, being in the woods and wearing camo and um I, it's been said there's kind of like two mental types of, of, of like squad makeups which is your alpha you know like assault breacher dude uh running gunner infantry grunt and then there's your more i don't say cerebral but uh, more of a macro view thinking person that's like a sniper team, some reconnaissance and stuff like that. I think I'm more lined up for that. Like, I'm pretty low-key for the most part. It takes a lot to get me going. So, um, uh, I'm more of like an observe and react person. Or pass on the info. Versus just, wow, shotgunning a door. Or whatever. Anyways, I'm saying all this just to say that um, I, would, I would definitely recommend picking up these books. There's a lot of good graphics in them. Um, and this is kind of like his first edition series. These are relatively new, and there's a good stuff to learn if you're kind of going through it whenever you can. And if you have uh, buddies that you go shooting with, or hunt with, or um, airsoft or paintball or whatever, um, you could use these um, to do uh, different tactical maneuvers. And there's a lot of good definitions and stuff. Um, what I thought was really interesting was the part about the uh, woods waking up, uh, the pre-dawn hours and after uh, sunset hours. That was really interesting. Um, yeah, I, I think this would be something worthwhile. You get your gear lined up, you get your rifle lined up, whatever. Um, 
if if I had to pick something to okay, my ultimate first pick would be this because this is really for anyone to pick up and read. There's nothing crazy about this. Um, and it helps to build like the a philosophy of understanding this. Like, oh man, what do I need to know? That I was hanging out with dudes that already know that shit. Yeah, until that guy goes down, and then it's up to you to take up the slack. And you had better hope you know some stuff. So that one I recommend a lot. Um, and then I would say the uh, professional citizen project books. And there's more than one. There's several. These have different categories or different books, and um, these are really good. So this is kind of like number two, but they're together. And if you understand Sun Tzu, you'll understand this a lot easier, I think. And then the third one I really recommend is this one if you're a more visual learner, and the bright colors and everything help break up um, the fact that these pages and these other ones are just kind of like in black and white, and they're really basic graphs, but. The color really pops out, so maybe I'm just like autistic in that way. Anyway, so sorry it took me so long to do this um, review and everything. Um, I've just been kind of busy lately. But yeah, these are some awesome books, and I think I'm going to pick up some more. And um, that's about it, I think, for right now. So I'm kind of referring to these every day. I'm getting ready to make my move and uh, pack stuff up and whatnot. And then what I'll do is. Um, based on what I'm reading through here, I'll try to get some uh, outdoor videos going through the woods and uh, learning basic patrol and stuff like that. And um, my biggest thing I've learned myself to do is to network with similar minded people uh, without being awkward. So good luck with that. Anyways, um, if anything else comes my way, um, I'll set up another video and uh, we'll go over this. But anyways, uh, everyone have a great weekend and uh, happy Labor Day. Talk to you later. Bye.